Hi, in this video we're going to discuss how to do reconciliations between the entries on your ledger program and your paper statements that come in the mail for each of your accounts. You can see we're in the month of March here and we have different payment types, Visa, Savings, American Express, and so on. So when you get your Visa statement in, or any statement for that matter, you know, let's reconcile these entries with that paper statement that comes in for this particular month. But before we do that, before we do any reconciliations at all, I would highly recommend that you sort these entries in order of date. And that makes finding the entries much easier as you follow them along with your paper statement, which is also in date entry. So what I would do to sort this is use that sort button at the top of each of these uh, monthly screens. So when you click on that sort button, it takes all your entries in that month and puts them in order of date, lowest to highest, just like you'd find on your paper statement. So now let's uh, take a look at the visa entries. So you can see they're kind of scattered throughout the month. So to make things a lot simpler for yourself, I would use this filter button at the top of the column next to the word type. You see the button there. I would click on that and then I would unselect this these items by choosing select all and then I would click on in this case we're going to do visa so I would click on visa so that only the visa items would appear on our screen and you can see it's filtered the column out nicely to only display visa now you can take your paper visa statement and you look through them item by item and as you see them, you would check them off on your paper statement and you would click and choose the X over here in the ledger program to indicate that that item, for example, showed up on your visa paper statement. And that, you know, the staples expense, yeah, you, did you see that on your visa statement? If you say yes, you saw it, then you would check it here and you would also check it off on your paper statement using a pen or a marker or whatever you like. And that way you can uh, make sure that every entry is accounted for on the ledger and also on your paper statement so that no errors have been made by your uh, visa account and, or your bank account and so on. So you go through them all and in the event that you don't have a receipt for one of these items then you would choose no receipt and then later you know you, can, you could go back and, and, and find the receipt and then later reconcile it if you, if you do find it. When you're done, you know you've reconciled them all then you would go back to this and select all, click OK, and that particular account is reconciled. When you scroll down the screen, you can see here, you know, you're, it's showing all the different totals of different payment types for the month, which is fine. But below that, you can see we still have seven unreconciled entries of a value of $295 for the month. So then we go up and say, okay, let's try um, reconciling our savings account. So click on the payment button unselect all these and just choose savings click OK now we just see our savings account entries go to your savings uh, paper statement when it comes in the mail check off the items that you see on the paper statement and go through them one by one marking them off here and marking them off on your paper statement when you're done click on that type button uh, that filter button next to the word type select them all click OK and then we can scroll down and you can see oh we only got two items left for $74 then we've reconciled every entry for the month and you can see there's two items left here and those are both for American Express so if you wanted to you could just simply choose American Express reconcile the two items here once your American Express statement comes in the mail and then you are done thanks for tuning in